Uh, also, I gotta buy this stuff and mine. Oh, no, nah, you're not about to have me doing that. They got me working in the mines. Oh, no, I, I gotta buy a bronze pickaxe. Okay, now I gotta go mine. <laughs> Yo, they got me working on this damn game. God damn, I'm doing a nine to five. They really got me mining, bruh. I'm in disbelief, dog. This game's grind is insane, bro. <laughs> this is the true Heroes Online 2 experience, bro. They got me mining, dog. 400 Robux to mine. <laughs> oh my God, I got scammed. All right, so welcome back to another video. Today we're playing some Heroes Online. Now, I've been very, very busy, obviously. I explained it in my community post. I've been doing some stuff with Twitch Rivals and the Say Jam Slam for Street Fighter and all that. But uh, the online portion of it is done, so I can finally play some Roblox games and whatever I want. So we're going to be back uploading consistently. So uh, first things first, I want to try out Heroes Online. I'll be trying out Devils of Creation soon, but I want to get Heroes Online out the way. So I'm going to try this game out. The game costs 400 Robux, obviously. I've been waiting for it for a while. I did a ton of videos on the first game. Uh, now I'm going to try out the second game and see if it's any good so let's go ahead and buy it hop right into it and uh let's give you guys my thoughts all right here we are okay uh you got the badge outfit tester blah 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 you get the gist of it uh paid access benefits your data and progress will never reset nice exclusive item rewards will be on full release redeemable codes that will expire uh before the full release that's pretty nice so we got some incentives to play early that's pretty good to see um let's see let's see let's see uh i am i know the game does not have that much quirks that's an issue, uh, but I mean, it is what it is. Oh, cutscene. Hmm. Okay. What the hell? That's supposed to be all my. <laughs> okay. One for all versus all for one. Choose a side. This is the side of your faction you started in, but you can change it anytime depending on your actions in game. So I'm going to go villain side because I'm pretty sure most content girls probably went hero. Unless I am wrong about that. But I'm gonna go villain. Uh, there we go. Let's see how this works out. So does like, does he just win? Oh, he doesn't win. It just ends there, okay. Okay, uh, let's go quirk. Okay, so these are all the quirks in the game. One for you, which is basically one for all. I don't know why it's called one for you because that kind of sounds like all for one, you know? but whatever uh it's one for all uh and there's copy there's shot gravity mind control giant and tail uh there's only five spins i don't know if there's any codes at the moment because uh i'm on the discord if you want to buy a skip cutscene game passes 250 robux damn that's a lot uh i feel like that should be 75 robux but whatever um let's go ahead and roll uh oh yeah you can have more than one quirk there's also modifiers in this game uh which help you boost your rates like as you can see the mythic is 0.3 but if you pop a modifier it'll boost it by a lot uh i think i saw it was like ooh, these are expensive i'll buy one epic modifier just to like i mean i guess just show you what i'm talking about uh i'm probably gonna get something trash but <laughs> hey it is what it is um i'll just give them that just to making the first game a banger so yeah as you can see uh the first uh, mythics are now five percent legendaries are 12 epic is 82 now uh and you can't even get a common or rare which is pretty nice i, I think that's pretty good that it puts these at zero uh, but obviously, uh, you're probably gonna roll a rare, but let's just use it, spin, and see what happens. Oh, actually, I should've used my regular ones first. Eh, whatever. Let's see, what do we get? I got gravity. Yeesh. <laughs> Yikes. I don't really want gravity, but, I mean, eh, it's an epic. I'll take it. Okay, uh, yeah, I have four spins. Wait, what the hell? Oh, it basically still does take a spin. It just modifies the spin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, we got gravity. We're just going to stick with it. Um, I don't know if there's any codes, but nah, whatever. Character. Yeah, I got to customize my character. Just give me a second. Actually, I'm just going to randomize it because I don't care. Eh, this is fine. I don't care. I'm blue, but nah, whatever. I don't care. Uh, let's go and hop right into it. So, team made mode. Oh, the team game mode is not done yet. Well, it, we, it is done. We've seen gameplay of it. It's probably just not finished. AFK Realm is a thing. Rosaria City. This is free room. Let's go. So, um, I'm not expecting the gameplay to be too different from the first one. Uh, but it's not gonna fly with me <laughs> i don't remember too much of how the first game was but i'm pretty sure you just went quest to quest that's pretty much what the gameplay was um 
I personally think that, like, I don't think he's going to get away with that in this day and age. Oh, I have my controller plugged in. Give me a second. There we go. Uh, I don't think he's going to get away with that in this day and age, at least with me. But, I mean, I don't know. We'll see. Uh, maybe it'll still be fun, but I I, I don't know. Uh, meet Lola at the Villatel. Okay. So, how do you mouse lock? Or is there no mouse lock in this game? I don't know what the controls are. I should probably rejoin because my controller messed up my controls. All right, there we go. Okay, yeah, mouse lock broke because I had a controller plugged in. All right, let's go to this uh, Villatel. Oh, so these are your quest board stuff, and there's like a marker there. That's pretty nice. And this is my quirk gravity. Uh, cost money to unlock the first skill. Combat stuff. Enhance. What is this? Awakening time. Oh, yeah, there's uh, most quirks, or I think if not all quirks have awakenings. PvP shield. Uh, what is all this? This is inventory stuff. Parties, all their stat points. Ooh, okay. And uh, this is the settings. This control run type, but it's a bit buggy, so I'm just not going to use it. Oh, you can change your keybinds. Oh, nice. Okay, this is pretty cool. Actual good settings mode, it seems. Your rookie that they were talking about. Uh, I'd imagine you'd be good experience, you know, because no one does. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Uh, I need to learn how to play the game because I don't know what the controls are. Oh, this is where they're going to teach me how to play. Nice. Okay. Um. Oh, 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 wow. Oh, okay, okay. God damn. Man's wasted no time. So it's a 5 hit M1 combat game. Oh, wait, it's dead already. Um, I don't know how air combos work or whatever. But, I mean, I'll figure it out. So all I gotta do is just punch the dummy and block? Nah, this tutorial don't seem that good if this is the tutorial. Does fifth M1 guard break? Nope, it does not. So it's just a block bar at the bottom of the screen. Okay, got it. Oh, there's PB. All right, nice. All right, well, I'm done with that part. Use a teleporter. Uh, I hope they explain like the other mechanics of the game because there's up tilting and stuff, but I don't know how to do it. Uh, who, if you don't mind me asking, uh, I'd prefer not to say. <laughs> I want to see what he needs. Okay, talk to Solon. All what right. What's this focus thing at the top do? I don't know what that does. Uh, well, I asked for her, but I suppose you would do. What do you need? Oh, corruption. You recognize it? Yeah, I've seen this before. And you have an idea what we're up against. Choose some of the corrupted light sources in the pit and take them to Violet's workshop. Okay. Uh, I still don't really know how to play, but I mean, I guess that's what they're gonna tell me. <laughs> like, what? I, I, I don't know how to up tilt. But, I mean, okay, I guess I don't need it. Uh, okay. Uh, we're doing some quest to quest missions so far. I mean, we haven't really done anything crazy. Three should be enough. Oh, but corrupted officers. Let me see if I can buy a skill. Oh, I still can't. Uh, cost a thousand one hundred. Uh, uh, uh. Hey, there we go. Nice. I think does a lot of it. Someone's doing. Oh my god. Oh my god. They are shredding me. God damn. These dudes do damage. All right, they're all dead. There we go. Uh, so what am I looking for? Lamps or something like that? These things? How do I pick it up? Oh, just press E on it. Yeah, this kind of reminds me of like pretty much every single My Hero game ever. It's just quest to quest missions. Uh, they got the little leaderboard with heroes and villains on it. Uh, you got the open world city where you can explore and do quests over and over and over. That's about it. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much the gameplay loop in like pretty much every single My Hero game. I was hoping for something different here, but it's seeming to be like the exact same thing as the first game, which isn't really that bad, at least to some people. But to me, I was just hoping for something new because every My Hero game does the same thing. No one's innovating at all or doing something new. It's kind of like how uh, it's kind of how like all the Attack on Titan games had like the same thing of waves and waves and waves of like survival. And then like Titan Warfare came out and they like changed the game with like Marlians versus the Audians and stuff. It was like a battlefield type of gameplay style. Like I was hoping for something new here, but um, I, so far I'm not seeing anything new. But then again, I just started playing, so I'll just keep playing. All right, I'll put my points into uh, I don't know. Oh, does it lifetime achievements and stuff? That's pretty nice. These help a lot. Claim this. Uh, now, uh, let's see what my next quest is. All right, let's see. Air combos. Okay. Uh, I don't know how to initiate them, but <laughs> they said do them. <laughs> how do I do it? Do I just hold space? Oh, yeah, you do just hold space. Okay, got it. Because <laughs> I was doing that earlier, and I was like, why is it not coming out? <laughs> I was like, do I got an M2 or something? All right, that's pretty good. Okay, so you just hold space to do air combos. You're average roblox player will know about this but like if it's someone that hasn't played like other anime games in the community they probably won't know that space is the air combo <laughs> so they should probably say something about that 
Uh, like, especially if it's like someone's first like anime game on Roblox or something. Cause like, I mean, yeah, it's self-explanatory to us, but to most people it won't be. So like, they should probably like have a better training mode than this. Uh, cause just saying to do it without explaining how to do it isn't probably good. Same thing with perfect blocking. I don't think your your average non-Roblox anime community gamer will know. <laughs> Why is there an in-combat thing in this game? Oh, crap, I hate that. This is one of the features I've hated out of most anime games. Everyone does like a stupid in-combat thing now ever since NO2. I hate it so much. Like, the in-combat thing shouldn't matter unless it's like PvP. If a player combat tags you, okay, sure, but like NPCs, bro? Come on, right, next quest. Uh, graduation of recent level six. You should be able to unlock your first combat skill. Oh, nice. Uh, okay. Oh, there's tips in here. Oh, so this is how you know to do the air combo. Okay, I see. Perform an air combo by attacking while holding jump. So yeah, they just message your inbox. <laughs> I mean, I guess that works. They still, I guess they do still tell you. You just you have to check your inbox to know that. Let's see our first quirk skill. There we go. Um, unlock. Oh wait, what? You said my <laughs> this thing is level 14. <laughs> the game lied to me, bro. It's like my first quirk skill. My quirk first quirk skill is level 14, bro. Let's talking about these skills. Double jump, bro. They lied to me. <laughs> Whatever. So now I can double jump. Cool. Oh, the tree branches out. That's pretty nice. Gut punch. Triple jump. Damn. Uh, evasion. Uh, moves a stun to escape a dangerous situation. Oh, so he's really just an evasive. Cool, cool, cool. Um, yeah. So I gotta grind level 14 if I want to get my first PVP skill. So I gotta keep grinding. All right. What's the next quest I got? Uh, Do this on. quest. Uh, I'm not sure what this quest does but let's figure it out what is it this time i've asked for her but i suppose you would do wait it's the same exact quest what's corruption is returning in the basement it's the same exact quest what 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 corrupted cube wait wait no no this might be different corruption cubes and defeat corrupted thugs i could have sworn this is the same exact quest i just did now the air combo is a little finicky it's not working sometimes yeah, i'm like holding space as i'm m1 and it's not coming out but it's not the same quest, because you don't get the lamps. You get cubes this time. The enemies drop cubes. I mean, I guess that's a little different. Not really, though. But whatever. But yeah, so far, I am not impressed. It's something to play, though. But so far, I'm not really impressed with the gameplay. It seems to just be quest to quest. Uh, pretty much the same as the first game. And he's probably going to get away with it, because, I mean, a lot of people didn't play the first game. And, I mean... It's something to play, so like I'm not gonna complain about it, but I am gonna complain about it because the game is paid access. Usually I wouldn't complain about something like this, but it's paid access. That's where my issue is. This game is 400 Robux just to go from quest to quest. You see my issue? So that's why it's not gonna slide with me. But if it was free, I wouldn't really care. But so far from what I'm playing, I don't think this is worth 400 Robux. <laughs> I don't think this is worth 400 Robux, but maybe um, the start of the game is very slow and then later down the line it picks up, but I uh, doubt it. <laughs> and even if the start of the game is very important because uh, most people probably would have clicked off by now, or maybe not because they just spent 400 Robux and now they feel uh, forced to play this. But I don't know. From what I'm playing so far, it just doesn't seem like it's worth 400 Robux. I haven't done anything exciting or anything at all. You don't like do no like invading the academy or nothing like that and there's like no story i mean there's probably like it's probably better for the hero side because they probably like start off in the academy but i'm pretty sure the gameplay is not that different they probably just go quest to quest doing mission to mission but i don't put on, go get it meet the merchant and deliver the crate damn <laughs> this is uh yikes <laughs> this is uh yikes my guy god damn a very very slow start and i know there's the whole argument of it's not paid access just because there's like more better content in it it's paid access because there's not enough content for it to be free yet but like bro that doesn't excuse it it's 400 robux <laughs> oh lordy is it crew from old town uh okay i gotta deliver the crate wait where am i doubling the crate to there's no marker where, where am i supposed to deliver the crate bro all right i guess i'm gonna just go figure out and do some other i don't know where to go with that crate claim these level eight nice you see i don't mind doing quest to quest if there's like some story to it but there's like no story to it or nothing like that so it doesn't really feel like appealing I'm not too sure what to do now other than like try and find more quests to do so i'm just gonna go explore i guess oh i got another quest it just sent me like a notification it's kind of like uh i guess there's supposed to be like events or something that just randomly just email you or whatever and then they just like they're basically just npcs that just randomly email you asking for help and then you just go to the place and do whatever the mission is so far um in my first 20 minutes of playing i will say this i do want to leave the game why 
it's not because like I don't like the game or anything, but it's so far very repetitive and the start is very boring. I will still keep playing, but like the start seems very repetitive. <laughs> And also, like, the team-based game mode isn't even done yet, so I can't even go play that even if I wanted to. But I wouldn't want to play it yet because I don't have my quirk yet. I want to at least get my quirk before, like, I end the video. But I got to get level 14 for that. But, um, yeah. The start seems very repetitive. I don't think they should keep the start like this. There, there needs to be something to grab people's attention. There needs to be, like, a hook or something. Like, there needs to be something, like a story or whatever the hell. There, there just needs to be something to grab people's attention because... I'm pretty sure your average TikTok attention span gamer would have left the game ages ago, bro. Or be very mad that they spent 400 Robux. Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I know it's an early alpha, but like, that doesn't excuse this gameplay. <laughs> that doesn't excuse the gameplay being like this. Uh, even if the game is not supposed to drop to like uh, 20, what is it, 2025 for free. Uh, so this is an early alpha. Yeah, we, we got a lot of work to do. <laughs> we got a lot of work to do, big dog. Because, uh, ain't no way. <laughs> I don't think this is going to cut it. Oh, and this guy is trying to kill me. But I have FF, you idiot. <laughs> and also, there's no VIP server. So, like, if I didn't have FF there, I would have died. I don't know why uh, there's no VIP servers. But, I mean, uh, okay. Those people are definitely going to kill each other like crazy. And also, uh, I... Seems I ran into a bug because there's no NPC spawning, so I can't finish this mission. Uh, that's pretty nice. Um, it says kill five police officers, uh, but there are only there are only three spawned. Or unless one of these dudes killed the other ones, I, I what am I supposed to do? <laughs> oh, okay, there, there's more spawn. I was about to say, but yeah, it just seems uh, very repetitive. That that's like my main issue, and it's 400 Robux, 400, not like 200 or something like that. Or like a hundred or something. It's four hundred Robux, my guy. Four hundred is crazy work. Um. Oh, quest complete. I think one of those dudes killed that PC. Uh. Okay. Let me just get out of here. Level nine. Let's get it. All right. Next quest. Let's see. Uh. So yeah, you just randomly get random emails from NPCs around the game. Uh. For quests. Like this one says. Uh. You need to access it. Blah blah blah. Let's go to it. You just get a quest and your thing, and then you just go to the location, which is not bad. That's pretty good. But my issue is that that seems to be the only gameplay in the game at the moment. I, I don't know if there's anything else to do, but uh, yeah, this is not it. It seems like after you just grind levels or whatever, and since there's no like team-based mode or PvP, everyone's just killing each other. That's pretty much it. Like I just saw those two people just fighting each other. All right, so this is the boss. Welcome to the Vila Tell. Uh, okay. Turkey's doing all the cannon to me. Blah blah blah. All right, we'll see if you're actually observing. Wait, that's it? That's my rank? I don't think you're ready for the raid yet. Oh, there's raids. Oh, that's cool. Uh, I wonder what level I can do those at. Uh, I got another quest right here. It seems I gotta go to the pit or something. Oh, wait, this is the same quest I did earlier. <laughs> Gear trophy. Oh, that's cool. Oh, that leveled me up twice. Oh, snap. Is that like some hidden item or something? And this is a crafting table. Oh, this is cool. I can craft like armor and stuff. Oh, wait, these are all like the starter stuff. What? <laughs> what? That's like the starter stuff, no? Yeah, this is this stuff. What? <laughs> oh no, what in the heck? There doesn't seem to be that much content in this game from what I'm seeing, but I, I want to keep playing it because I could be wrong. But, like, if I am wrong, because I'm definitely not going to be able to experience everything in this video, please let me know down below in the comment section. But from what I heard from my friends that have played this game, uh, it's not too far off. <laughs> Uh, and I'm going through the exact same thing they experienced. The game is very repetitive. There's not too much content and and a story It's not really worth 500 Robux but, or, My bad 400 Well, I have a bunch of achievements level 10 now nice destroy five trees. How do I destroy trees? I just punch him or something or hold on. Oh, I do just punch him The funny daily quest there we go. Level 11. Let's get it. Right, what does this quest do? Rats reach your level 10. That means you can now trade with other players. Oh, cool. Next makes point trade with the window open. Oh, nice. There are limits to what you can trade, though. Okay. Oh, what is this? Hunter skateboard. Oh, there's weapons in here. Oh, this is pretty cool. Rusty gear blade. Abraham. Look up this rusty gear blade. Uh, let's buy it, I guess. Um, let's see. 
Uh, five extra strength. Oh, that's pretty Your cool. Quests have been reset. Oh, so quests reset daily or something like that, or some random time or something. I don't know what the level cap is, but uh, I'm guessing it's probably like 50 or something. Buy a bronze pickaxe. Uh, oh, so I gotta buy this stuff and mine. Oh, nah, you're not about to have me doing that. They got me working in the mines. Oh, no. I, I gotta buy a bronze pickaxe. Okay. Now I gotta go mine. <laughs> Yo, they got me working on this damn game. God damn, I'm doing a nine to five. They really got me mining, bruh. I'm in disbelief, dog. This game's grind is insane, bro. <laughs> oh my God, bro. This is the true Heroes Online 2 experience, bro. They got me mining, dog. 400 Robux to mine. <laughs> Oh my god, I got scammed. You wanna party? My Frankie giving me more EXP. I'm good, bro. I'm busy working my 9 to 5. <laughs> Yo, this is... This is... It's, it's actually mad, bro. Because look how slow it takes. It takes like a minute <laughs> to get one ore or something like... Or like 30 seconds, bro. <laughs> this is actually crazy, bro. Probably it's, it's probably that slow because I'm using a bronze pickaxe. It's probably fast because that guy just used the gold one. You got it really fast. But like, Yo, this is mad, bro. This is the gameplay, bro. Yo, if I showed this to one of my friends and they saw me doing this, they'd have... Oh my god. Yo, that guy took the last one. Oh no, there's none spawned in anymore. <laughs> this gear trophy. Oh, I think there's more down here. Oh no, yeah, the guy took the last one. I can't finish the dumb quest. This is why I play in VIP servers. Oh no. Oh, there's more in here, nice. Wait, what? My quest didn't complete. Oh, these aren't bronze ores. Oh, oh nice, they respawned. Oh. <laughs> oh my God, time to spend 45 seconds mining again. All right. There, quest complete, level 13. <laughs> One more, then I can use my quirk. <laughs> oh my god, why am I doing this? I don't really feel like a villain with these quests, I'll tell you that. <laughs> this is something a hero would do. Why am I going around helping every single person, bro? Find Khalil's comb? This isn't a villain quest. No villain is doing this, dude. What is this? Comb's right here. There. What villain do you know is doing this quest? Like, what? These aren't villain quests, bro. Like, what? That This doesn't make any sense. Let's go help this construction worker, and then we should be level 14. That's, like, another issue. These aren't villain quests. Why am I going place to place helping people with, like, find a comb and crap? Like, what is that? <laughs> doesn't make any sense. These quests need to get removed. Like, what? Th this does, these aren't villain quests. Like, you can't just give us the same quest you give the heroes. These aren't villain quests. This makes no sense. Uh, I gotta help him do what? I can't deliver it myself. What in the hell? This isn't a villain quest. All right, there we go. Something challenging. Defeat five police officers. Okay, like, this makes sense. But I mean, I've already done this quest before. But this makes sense. This is a villain quest. Sword skills. I didn't even know there were sword skills in here. But I mean, it doesn't matter. Level 20 requirement. Can't buy them anyway. All right, let's see. Uh, I am not happy with this game. Like, at all, bruh. <laughs> I haven't done one thing appealing this entire play session and it's 400 robux like 400 robux my guy and the server is so laggy bro oh lordy and this quest just doesn't spawn enough mobs i have to wait like a minute or two for more mobs to spawn because it only spawns three mobs at a time wow my quest expired because <laughs> no more npc spawn oh my god okay i, I think i can play this too I tried. Oh, oh, they finally just spawned. They finally just spawned in, but it's too late. My quest ran out. Oh, that's so peak. It, it, they spawned back in, but it's too late. I can't do it, bro. I'm sorry. I, I, I can't play this game. I tried, and now the server's lagging like crazy. I tried, but, like, this is way, way, way too early access. This is, like, it, I know it's an alpha, but, like, I don't excuse that because the game is 400 Robux. I'm done. I'm done, bro. Let me buy this quirk skill, see what this thing does. Uh, a branch is cool. I'll put it on one. What does this do? Yeah, I do. <laughs> All right, I'm out of here. I'm sorry, but I, I, I can't, bro. It's way too early access, and like the game is not in a good state. This game is not worth 400 Robux, bro.